That's all too bad. Um, uh, now I have no in-game audio at, at all. I mean, I can hear the audio. Oh. Um, uh, now I have no in-game audio at, at all. I mean, I can hear the audio. Oh. Um, all right, just can't hear myself. Okay, that's so bad. I'm going to start, uh, going to restart um, Colonel Strike. Damn it. Yeah, let's go. I'm unstoppable, yeah. do the impossible. Right. I'm irresponsible, oh. yeah, I'm phenomenal. Yeah. I got an arsenal, oh, yeah. I'm dropping bombs, you know. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not stopping, no. Let's go. Conquer yeah. the options. Yeah. To the top, here I go, think I'm chosen yeah. To be the king of rock, think the people have spoken I can hear the tick-tock of the clock, I'm in motion So now I'm gonna pop, causing all this commotion Yeah, yeah. yeah. sometimes I think that I'm
tilbud. Ved du godt, at Ekspert altid har prismatch på alle, der svarer? Ja, ja, det er der mange, der har. Men i Ekspert får du altid 20% rabat på anbefalet tilbehør oven i købet. Det vil sige, at hvis du køber et tv i Ekspert, kan du eksempelvis få en soundbar med i købet med 20% rabat. Det er da ikke så tosset bare. You did not miss anything, so lucky for you. Two to four days right now. In winter, he only has a P2000. It is a very beautiful one indeed. But of course, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. So let's hope that we are going to continue soon. Of course, they have to decide what they want to do right now. What is the plan for round number seven? Maybe attempt of, you know, stealing this round with only pistols. So far, they maybe can get one more round and close the gap. But of course, maybe it will also be the complete opposite. We are maybe going to see a 2-5. Well, Enigma will take a more commanding lead here in the first half. There we go. We have a Deagle on Scorion. Everybody else on just, you know, decent pistols, except, you know, two of the players, Snape and Chairman, they are only on USP Athlon. There we go, they are sneaking onto Shroud. Unfortunately for them, everybody from the T side, they are going along. And of course, for that, nobody meeting, they can now hear that there are some flames on the car. They're going to rotate, of course, everybody is together, hoping that they can, them, they can overwhelm some T's with the numbers, you know. Hoping to land that beautiful headshot to, you know, take out an AK, steal that weapon. Maybe use it against the rest of the remaining T's, but there we go, they are moving towards the side. Of course, they're walking completely into the stack. Still, the weaponry is not good. They have two flashbangs on goods he wants to push out. There we go, flashbangs are good, and he's going to find the first, and even a second before he's trading. Look at this one, the trades are good. The CTs, they are so far doing pretty well on this one. Oh, oh, oh Winter with the Deagle headshot, and it's just worked out perfectly. I will need to, to deagle a P250 and two flashbangs. They turn this around. Nickma, on the other hand, I mean, money is still just barely available. Everybody except Carval, but he's saying you don't need money. I just need one bullet for my scout, and then you are going down to the ground. And let's find out if they are going to do it again. He, they are going long. Thugger, he is going forward. He has a Mac 10 and he's burning and he is looking for something. He's going to line them up and look at that. Beautifully done. Line up. He was going for the third one. But unable to connect. And there you go. He's lying on the ground. He knows that he did a decent job killing two CT players. So still, a man advantage, but you know, equip only with a Mac-10 candy apple in his hand. Hoping to find some worth of that thing. Of course, a Mac-10 can be pretty good if you're jumping around corners, but everything that's, you know, further away than two meters is, you know, going to destroy your old Snape, seeing some feet. And then we go, Kaval, he's going to peek again, but <laughs> another peek there. Still, bad trade for the T's, and oh, he's going to find this kill. That was a very... Important one and no blocky he can see it. He has to win this kill or maybe not. He's going to take the bomb still. It doesn't matter which side he's going to choose. He has to go and face one of the CT players and seems like Chairman is going to have the right read. And there we go, finding that kill. Make it even four to four days on the scoreboard. And so, let's look into this one. Enigma. Danes, they have just two deagles available and two flashbangs. And we saw that can work out. And look at this one. You know, the boost not working out perfectly. I think that actually was slower than normally. Let's see, they are looking for maybe some flashbangs, hoping that somebody is, you know, flashing and trying to push them. But I can see on the minimap, so far they are just going... Trying to go along the AWP waiting there. Unfortunately, not able to find anything with the Deagles. The AWP just too strong, holding the side. He has so far two kills, but he wants to make it more. That one is dual, but everybody else, look at that, only tossed and left. He has one kill, he has to find four more. And the AWP is even not in his range. Look at that, so many nades. And oh, there we go, Tossin getting one, but in the end, he will be overwhelmed. 
Wait, no, they are taking the lead. 5 to 4. But this time, Nigma, they can buy into this one. I think this time we have another timeout. Probably from the T's. Hoping to maybe find a weakness in their enemy place, you know. Or maybe, you know, the coaches, you know, getting this big book of tactical masterpieces. And I don't know from the all the, you know, some of the coaches, you know, on the majors, they have little, you know, sketchbooks where they, you know, write all the strategies in and stuff like that. Which team is bad against what, then they're always like in the, in the time out there, just like looking through the stuff, hoping to find the best strategy in the hope of maybe getting some rounds. And of course, sometimes these magic pauses, you know, thinking about everything, talking on how they could beat them, maybe coming up with a good idea. Or the coach is saying, yeah, here on page 253, paragraph 2B, we're going to rush all B with mech 10s and tech 9s and flash bang out and then we're going to win. Yeah, that's definitely 100% a real strategy that um, definitely professional players lose. But look, look at Glocky doing a bunch of damage onto Goose. Was like, yeah, not even firing a single bullet and he's all the way down to 39 HP. To be honest, that is not really a lot. There we go, a bunch of AKs. They're going to throw all their stuff in. Flashbang, maybe Glocky wants to go grass with Oja, and he found a little gap in the smoke that is just going to go away now, so he could use it by the same time. Oh, look at that, that was the bomb. Still rotation is coming up, but look at that coin. He's holding strong. He is going to clean it up until, well, he's also going down, but it doesn't matter. Only Kravall left, and he's walking into that AWP. Right now, they are extending the lead. Six to four. Two round lead and Enigma, the money not looking perfect. As you can see, nobody really has any money to buy some beautiful AKs or an AWP. I mean, they cannot even think about an AWP, but right now they are thinking about deals. Everybody except Glock, he's saying, yeah, I'm a little bit too poor for that. I can just afford a Glock. Of course, a Glock can also get killed. It's very unlikely. But of course, we saw stuff like that all the time. I mean, he's called Glocky probably not for, you know, no reason or something. He's probably God with the Glock. And because of that, he's called himself Glocky. But look at this wizard, he's boosted onto the crate. And look at that double kill by Cravall saying, You kill my teammates, I give you a headshot. There he goes, going in, aggressive, finding the second one. Beautifully done, at the same time, scoring. Also, finding Kill Thompson. Make it two plays left alive for the T side. But at least they found themselves some utilities. Some nades, some flashbangs, and more importantly, they found themselves an M4. Lucky going to collect the bomb. Question if they're going to see that. Oh, Charmin is going aggressive there. It's a little bit risky, but it definitely pays out. Because he's going to find a kill. And now Glocky with the signature weapon in his hand. Can he do something against that M4 Tooth Fairy? Just like he's saying, yeah, today a Glock is not going to be enough. I need something bigger, something stronger. And it's not an AWP, but it's a deal. But it doesn't matter. He is going down anyway. It will be 7 to 4. And Igmar starting strong here on this T side, but so far. Looking not really good. Looking like they are getting behind. Maybe they need another timeout. Maybe they need this one round to get back. And maybe this round will be one we are looking at right now. And so there we go. They're just going to push in. One player is holding onto the side. And that's definitely not a lot. Who they expect the player there. And he's in the smoke tucked in. But there we go. The trade is there. And up Crip, he's going to spam. Not a Snape. He is hoping for, you know, some connection there, but unable to do anything. And the thing is, the cities, they have to retake the B-bomb side. The question is, do they want to do that? Be you know, the B-bomb side undoes to one of the hardest bomb side to actually retake. Because there is so many, you know, positions where the T's can hide. 
entrance that can be guarded pretty easily. This, you know, change of pace definitely worked wonders there. And there we go, the CD's just backing off. I mean, you can see still one player, you know, because he's trying to get some exit track. He's going to find the first one. The question is, will they hunt him? No, they will not, but of course, because he has, you know, his eyes onto that AK. He wants that thing. There we go, he's going to collect it. His prize, the AK. There you go, 7 to 5 on the score line. Here we go. Will Void now now take the deciding round here in the first half to get them to A to let them win this first half? Or will Enigma take it? Make it six. I mean, not sending everybody from Void now into an ego, but a bunch of players, well, two. You know, scoring with there, they are both pretty much broken. Nobody else. Pretty decent. Even, you know, Benchman, he has 5,000. Dollars in his bank account. Let's see what he's going to do with that. Go after that very quick round. I'm just saying, yeah, last time was quick, so this time we're going to, you know, look a little bit. Close and look at Talson. He was, you know, doing a little bit too quickly. At the same time, he's in the smoke, hoping for maybe someone to peek in. But there we go, he is getting peeked himself. At the same time, the rotation is coming up. And look at that, Carvalho and Glocky both taking some kills. And oh, Glocky just barely getting onto the side. We're finding another one. And all of a sudden, we have a 4v2. Enigma struggling in the mid part of this half. It seems like they are back in business. The last remaining cities again just have to save. So, Enigma. Will be allowed to go to six rounds. That for well, 13 kills, you know, Benchman on 12. You know, the both all parts, you know, doing pretty well here on Dust 2 so far. Round number 14, two rounds left. The best case for right now is a 9 6. Enigma, they can go to an 8 to 7, or more likely a 7 to 8 if you look at the score line. Like Kovale, he is doing it again! Unbelievable! Two times, he hit the timing. Just right, but oh, Winter is going to go aggressive. Will he be expected? No, Toss not reading into this one. Completely caught off guard. So he is down. Interesting name on that AK. But here we go. And again, after some quick succession, they're going to go slow. And there we go, the trade is there. But of course, trades are always good for the T's because the cities they have to defend too. Look at this one, Tucker. He's going for the long range duel with the AWP, and luckily that pole was there because if not, then he would be certainly be dead. He just left with 15 HP. Not really a lot to work with if you are fighting against AKs and M4s. Look at that, good is going aggressive, and he is finding two kills. All of a sudden, Glocky. He is, you know, thinking, where did my teammates go? Everybody is dead on the ground, and he has to clutch it now. So far, five kills. He wants to make that three more. Whether he has found himself a gap, but now he's actually going through the smoke. And look at this, Lucky, not expecting somebody to be so close. There we go, round number eight on the board, now confirmed for the CTs. Nigma, they can buy into this round, probably into the last round of the first half as well. There we go, Snape, he wants to do the same, and look at that, he is doing it saying, yeah, sure, last time, 
you know, I was the one that was caught in that door. Is this time Carval going to the ground? Smoking everything. Four teas are left alive. Oh, Benjamin. 12 goods of four. He wants to make it a little bit more. And he will have an opportunity for that just in a couple of seconds. Three players going on the short. Smoke is in place. And a flashbang as well. Oh, look at that. I think somebody actually got hit by a flashbang. And Benjamin, he's going down without a fight. The bomb, it will go down. We have two plays on long and two plays on CT. There you go. Goods is going in again, hoping for that one bullet that will change maybe the round. But Ikrip, he is holding that and he is finding up, you know. Crip and Glocky both finally killed. The Devil is hoping for his best that he can upgrade his weaponry, but it will not matter. He has to defuse the bomb here, and it is not going to happen anytime soon. He's going to find the first, but Molotov is going in as a fake defuse. He's going to peek. And there was even an attack. An 8 to 7. The scoreline will be that. And so we are asking ourselves how will each team perform on the opposite side? I think we're probably going to be. Back in a couple of seconds, so stay tuned. Ved du godt, at Expert altid har prismatch på alle deres varer? Ja, ja, det er der mange, der har. Men i Expert får du altid 20% rabat på anbefalede tilbehør oven i købet. Det vil sige, at hvis du køber et tv i Expert, kan du eksempelvis få en soundbar med i købet med 20% rabat. Det er da ikke så tosset bare. And there we go. We're still in the warm-up. Nobody and not everybody has clicked on the ready button yet. So don't be afraid, nobody has lost around here, just a little bit of warm-up until everybody is ready. But there we go, now we are in the second pistol round. Will Enigma close it even, maybe even take the lead, or will avoid no rush or uh, start a sprint towards the finish line? Beautiful 16 round mark in order to win and get a step closer to advancing <clears throat> in the Zier League. You know, going into the main league, going afterwards into advanced, and then of course into the Premier League. And uh, look at this on Thomas and the going Brazil finding the first player. One player is still holding on to Cyclocky, but he is overrun. Thomas right behind, of course. They know, and oh, he found the bomb. The bomb, luckily, you know, bouncing. In the right direction, and ho ho Benjamin with that picked up USPS from Glocky. And Craval is looking for more, but this time it will not work out. Two CTs left. No girl C. Oh, look at that. He saw that weapon for sure, and there we go. Or not. I thought for sure he's going to find that kill. Of course, CTs, they are so few in numbers. They're going to push in one by one. It will not work out. What no, we'll take the lead here. Seven to nine so far. And that we have final four spire from the CTs. Eagles and everything, a local one, the first eagle finding a kill, but the Galileo finding one as well. Look at that, Watch Ben Knight also has a Palarx, this time he has a Star Trek one. And after that, going finding another CT lurking in the smoke, will they expect the CT from behind? That is the big question I'm asking myself now, Carval. What is he going to do? He can make it huge. He's going to find the first one. Will he find another one? He is missing the first shot, down on 2 HP and from, C uh, from T. Mac 10 doing wonders. And so we have it a 2v3. CTs, one man down. Let's see again. 
Five seven has one. Oh no, but he's looking in this direction. He's going to find only one. That could have been maybe the turning point here for the CD forces. But now we have one scout and USPS. He has to work with the question is he going to save that? Probably not. But there we go, Tarson finding the first one. But oh, Snape, he's seeing that hat. He's going to finish it off. And it's double digits for Voitner. Go because you know Enigma are forced in the last round. The money is looking horrible. They can only afford a single flashbang for Tawson. That's everything they're going to have. And they are looking to maybe cross middle, hoping for something. But look at this. The T's are just going to rush onto that. And oh, Winter! He's getting a ding there from Block, but at the same time, the Mac 10 doing wonders work. But still, it's not enough. All the CTs are just going to fall on the ground. Glocky, he found himself. Not a block. But he found himself a Mac 10, so at least something. Nate's going to do something. But of course, they have to recall the bomb. They're just going to spray him down and make an 11 on the board. But no, a step closer to winning this round right here. And we finally go into next round. And look at this. The CD forces, they said it's all or nothing. We are going for an double AWP. And Tarson, he wants to go aggressive on the screen. He is, you know, smelling something fishy and he's throwing more than a Craval. He's looking for a middle player. And look at the Snape. He had no idea. He caught, you know, was caught with hands down, flash banning hand. So man advantage very early on for the CTs. Tarson strong. He wanted to go for another one. Look at this. The crosshair is so close of getting another one. Yeah, Winter, that is not the flash thing you are looking for, but you know, there is the trade. Make it only one T left. Winter, he has to recover the bomb and maybe the round as well. There we go. Oh, there was a hit and he knows that he's going to spam. Find the kill. Make it eight on the board for Enigma, finding their first round here on the second half as CT on Dusty. <laughs> and so we go again. Let's see who will deplete their money in this round. Will it be the CTs giving white note number 12? Or will it be it void to an orc trying to push into B side? We have right now we have Glocky holding that as well as Tarzan. Look at that Tarzan. He was looking so strong with AWP last round defending these tunnels. Oh, that flashbang could be crucial. And there we go. He cannot see a single thing. Has to go back. At the same time, Glocky on the spot. And oh no, he was running out of bullets. You know, Chris from behind. Trump will go down. The Otter Observer, a little bit confused, but equip, he will go down to the ground. And there we go, we have the call. We have it confirmed. You know, General Rope Enigma, they are leaving the side. Giving Voidno round number 12. Saving the double AWP as well as some, you know, nice little M4A4. You know, the one without a silencer. Here we are. Eight to twelve. Four rounds between these teams. What? No, they need only four more if they want to win. Right here. Or oh, you. Oh, want to win? Of course, well, technically, can go to overtime and then you know end the score with fifty-five to one hundred and sixty. Because that's definitely an overtime score. Because you know. I should know it. I'm, I'm a caster. 59 to 160 is a completely normal overtime score. But there we go. We're going aggressive again. This time, Winter, he will be forced. Oh, the AWP is there. Will they do something? Will they expect that? No, they will not. But it doesn't matter. Thompson will go to the ground. And he, Winter is saying, yeah, nice. I will take this AWP for the T side. 
and the man advantage as well. There we go. Oh, no, not going back. There we go. The swap is there. Hey, the all power from the team is going to, you know, find the kill there. Not really, because Kavala, he's a little bit, you know, faster. He's so fast that he didn't even hear the bullets, you know, coming out of his gun so fast. Well, of course, with that information, we can now assume that, you know, they are going to push onto short. Smoke will be deployed. Oh, that kind of flashbang. Perfect. Denying that, you know, giving the city's crucial side to retained but Thorgar he was not prepared and there we go we have still one player holding the side Glocky now he has a very big part in this he actually has to I know the motive I think there was a little bit throw he's going in but there we go the trade is not there Grip is going to find one player on shore but doesn't matter the bomb is down three to two AWP and AK against a bunch of rifles and it seems like we have the call once again the CTs are going to retreat, giving up yet another round, and you know, they don't, they cannot really give up so many more. But no, they are already on 13, three rounds away of winning this one. So far, Enigma, they have only won a single round in this CT off. Oh no, he's shooting the glass of the car. What does it carry to you? It's just, you know, an old, reliable car. A thing that is, you know, running for 50 trillion miles or kilometers or, uh, I don't know, tea, pure, green, or burger, but gun, I don't know what, what the people are using. Or kiwi pear, or kangaroo, or something, I don't know. Anybody's going in with their growing grass and find the clone crib. What will they expect Thugger in the smoke? Look at that, so many flashbangs. Thugger, he can retreat in the, you know, protection of that smoke. And oh, Snape, he expects something. Tossing going to find that kill, claiming himself an AK. And now we have it. Oh, Caval, he, he saw something. Oh, that jump just saving that T player. But Ruiz, he's just a little bit too quick for Caval to realize. And so we have it, Glocky with the 8 of P and yes, Ron, he is going so low. But still the bomb is not yet planted. No, Tarson is going to peak and he's going to find that kill. At the same time, we can see Sorgen's going, no, no, that Nate, it will probably take a kill. There we go. Player down, bomb still planted and oh no, look at this man. Benchman has a very easy game there with Glocky. And so the bomb will go down 2 v one Tarzan already two kills on his name. He has to make it two more. Oh, Gruz, I don't know if you expect to play it down there in CT. Doesn't matter so far. I did see him out there. I have no idea that he is CT, but there you go. Find the first kill. Will he expect a player shot? He has no idea, and it will make the size of, you know, turn there. Gruz, oh, unable to save that AOP, but you know, Whitemore on 14 rounds. Looking good to closing this out. Just a couple more rounds because Enigma, they were look, looking pretty decent on the T side, but the CT side so far looking not very convincing. Or, oh, but no, T side is maybe, you know, very convincing and pretty good. Who knows that for sure? There we go. Three players on A long, one player B, one player middle. Let's see what he's going to do. So far, the T's are moving towards a short position. And Mech 10 Hydra, the Hydra case, also getting pretty expensive, you know, I think one of the Hydra case is like 7 bucks or something, because they're like only like 1,000 on the sea market or something, but I can guarantee you probably some people have like 1,000 of them, you know, lying around in some storage accounts. Unfortunately, I'm not one of these, I, I don't have any skins that's, you know, worth anything, so yeah. Anyway, he's going now in, throwing that stuff. There we go. Molotov will go onto the stairs. Look at that crew is going to drop down. They can, you know, trying from left and behind. But look at this one. The trades are there. Still 3v3. Molotov will go down the bomb. Oh no, it's down in a very awkward spot. They have to retrieve that thing. They have to cross CT, but it doesn't matter. Just a new smoke and a flashbang, and it should be fine. 
The bomb will be planted, and let's see how the CTs will react to that. They have only three weapons. So far, it's looking like one player will maybe try to rotate towards CT, or maybe too long. They're going to attack each on one side, one on long, one on CT, one on short. But, oh, Benchman, he's holding the angle. He is just walking, and he is finding kills. The second player going down a spell, make it only Glocky left alive. So far, Glocky, well, on 11 kills, that's pretty decent, but still, you need more in order to win this one, and it's so far not, is, you know, not more. 8 to 15, so far, the score line. Wait, no, they only need one more with a dominant T side half here, right now. Of course. Enigma buying everything they can, scrapping everything together, hoping for something. Graval, oh, he's completely fine, but so is the deep side player. So I got also getting a nice thing there. Of course, there can be a nice, beautiful AK collected for the CT, but at the same time, the T is moving towards the B side. Don't think this step was hurt. Where is still two players are going here onto the side. The second player from mid may be looking to rotate as well. And so, we make our way towards middle again. They're rotating a lot, but of course with that, you know, much time on the clock, it's definitely not a surprise because, you know, when you can, you know, rotate, why shouldn't you do it? Because maybe you will get a free frag or something. Or while he wants to, you know, make this an end, he's going to find the first. Not going to be peak, but of course the short position is now lost. So far nobody holding onto the side. We only have one player holding car, which is Thugger. 30 seconds left on the clock. That's indeed not really a lot. So let's see how they will deal with that. Thugger, he just has to buy time and he's going off the corner. Oh, I think he saw the, you know, the... You know, the thingy from the AWP. This is going around. With her, he's going to find one to 18 seconds. And it seems like they're going to give up the bomb plant. No, no, Tarson. The bomb plant is going down 2v2. Tarson is getting traded. AWP is there. Of course, Thugger, he is so low. Only 25 HP. There we go. The first player is down. Winter, he has to defend this bomb now. All costs. Will they expect him in the corner? They are looking for it. And they are going to find the kill. And make it 9 on the board. Nigma finally finding a round after it took him a quite a decent amount of time, but look at this, the money is still not looking so good. Of course, they can save two weapons, one player can drop. Of course, they have to win now six in a row if they want to make it to overtime and get a shot at winning this map. Let's see Thargar with the flashbang. The T's they are going out uh, there as well. Look at that Thargar this time. He is the one that is actually going to win that duel. And no good. He is going to have a Thargar. Oh, look at that. Another one through the smoke. That was indeed pretty good aim. Ghost green. He's going to fall as well. Oh, Bushman, he's going to get attacked as well. And so far, this long attack is just not working out at all. There we go, Thorgar, he can, he saw that foot there sticking out of the smoke. And all of a sudden, it's only Snape left. And a 1v5 and maybe an ace for Thorgar. He's looking for more, but no, we're grip. He is stealing that ace. And Thorgar, of course, he could have gotten that. But you better be safe than sorry. Especially if you have a score line like this one. 10 to 15. So far, Enigma has won 16-10 two times. And maybe they will lose 16-10 this time. The 16-10 curse. Maybe or maybe not. There we go. The T's all going towards the B side. Hoping to maybe rush there. Oh, look at that Glocky, he is holding, but the flashbang is good, but oh, the nades are even better, and they're just falling left, right, and center. 
Lucky on the spot is going down, and so maybe the thieves can get a bomb plan, but I don't know how often you can see the bomb is going to find the first one. Will he find the second? No, he will not. You only see a little bit faster there. He has two killed, three more to find, and of course, hopefully a bomb planned as well for a little bit extra cash, but oh, that shot through the wall was definitely a close one. There we go, bomb is now down, Molotov will not reach in in time. That smoke, you know, helping a little bit there. Oh, he's just spamming, and oh, there we go, you can see him finding that kill, and Enigma will make it 11, a step closer to overtime. And here we are. 11.15. Both teams this time can buy AWP on Benchman as well as Creval and Tarson. Double AWP once again. So far that didn't work out perfectly, but now we go. Charles with the aggression finding that kill. Where is the city side? We needed that like three, four, or five rounds ago. Not like when they are about to lose. Well, let's see. Thor. Oh, he saw something. He's spamming. Both sides are getting tagged. Thugger down to 21. And they're scoring down to 58. Both teams have, you know, gotten a bunch of damage there. Let's see. Smoke will be deployed. Both sides. And it seems like they want to commit to the short side. They're going to jump down. Come on, will he expect that? No, he will not, but he is flicking and he is finding the second one as well. He is just so good with the AWP, make it only two players left. Okay, he wants to find more kills. He wants to make it 19 on the board for him, but Krabal, he is looking for more. Look at that, he has 24 kills. And he wants to make more, but stuck out a little bit quicker there. 12 to 15. Look at that. Now they took four in a row. A little bit late. Maybe not too late. Let's look at that. The money for what no again, not pretty good. And if you know if they lose it, it will be 13, 14, uh, 13, 15. And then if they lose the weapon round once again, most likely we're going to have a 15, 15 and an overtime. Your hand. Flashbangs will be thrown. Tech 9 train going into middle, but it's not going to work at all. Only one casualty on the CT side. There we go. 13 15. Enigma are so close of going into overtime. But no, they're struggling on the last round. I need only one more. Maybe this round will, you know, bring that. Beautiful 16th round. AWP Nicholas. Oh, the boost is there. And a kill, Tossin. I mean, you know, getting that kill. Player did not expect that. Oh, the star player, Benchman. He is benched for this round. He went it there. Ha ha. So funny. Yes. The comedy in person. But there we go. Guts finding the re-kill. Make now four on each side. There we go again. Snape finding one, but there's a refrag. But Gus, you know that one player was looking short. Flashbang will be thrown. Oh, or not. Okay, I was thought he's going to flash and then go on to short or maybe even peak. Let me go with two players on the a side and one on the B side. Nobody holding middle so far, so they can take this. It seems they want to go to the B side. That's looking for like the right decision for them because only one player is holding that. And if they can take the B side, that could be huge. But oh, there we go. The player has been spotted instantly. The rotation from the city is going to come. But there we go. Lucky going down without taking out a single one. And there we have it. 3v2 retake situation to maybe decide this game. Smoke is going in, a crib he wants to go through it, he's going in, flashbang is good, he's going to find one, but that's it! Only one, oh no, Gazi! 
he got an AWP shot in his feet and he's going to survive that in winter. Look at that, he's going through it, he's going to peak and there we go, he is trying to do his best. Arm is ticking, look at this, he is so close and he's going to make it, it will be void, no, taking it 16 to 13 in this map here. And so, it was the end, we are going to end the broadcast today, we are going to back to Mur. Ved du godt, at Expert altid har prismatch på alle deres varer? Ja, ja, det er der mange, der har. Men i Expert får du altid 20% rabat på anbefalede tilbehør oven i købet. Det vil sige, at hvis du køber et tv i Expert, kan du eksempelvis få en soundbar med i købet med 20% rabat. Det er da ikke så tosset, var. Oh. 